randomized controlled trial, or RCT, is a robust method of evaluating whether there is a direct cause and effect relationship between an intervention and an outcome. There are many different RCT designs, but they all have one key feature, random assignment. In simple RCTs, participants are randomly assigned to an intervention group or to a control group. The intervention group is offered the intervention, the control group is usually not. Comparing outcomes between these groups reveals the intervention's impact. Random assignment ensures that participant characteristics are evenly balanced between the intervention and control groups. This minimizes the chance that differences between groups have influenced the outcome and isolates the impact of the intervention. There are many different designs of RCT, each with its own strengths, and different ones will be relevant to your context. In the simplest RCTs, a single intervention group is compared to a single control group that does not receive the intervention. In factorial RCTs, there is one control group, but several intervention groups, each receiving a combination of two or more interventions. Here's an example of an RCT testing the impact of information provision around financial support and the mode of that provision on an academic attainment outcome. Group 1 receives an email prompt about available financial support. Group 2 receives the same information but in a phone call. Group 3 receives both the email and the phone call. Finally, the control group receives neither email nor phone call. In factorial RCTs, all intervention group's outcomes are compared to the control group outcomes and also to each other. Another type of RCT is where instead of individual participants, it is groups of participants that are randomized to intervention and control groups. This is called a cluster RCT. In education, the most common cluster RCT design is where entire schools are randomly assigned to intervention and control groups. Control group schools often carry on with their normal activity in what's called a business-as-usual control. Cluster RCTs are very useful when we are concerned that the control group inadvertently or deliberately engage with the intervention when they're not meant to, in something called contamination. Cluster RCTs are also useful when we are concerned that the control group may be indirectly affected by the intervention group in what's called a spillover effect, which keeping groups clearly separated prevents. Another type of RCT, called a crossover design, addresses an ethical concern that it is unfair for control groups to not have access to the intervention being evaluated. In crossover designs, Control and intervention groups swap over midway through the trial, after a first set of outcome data has been captured. Another way to address the ethical concern of the control group not receiving an intervention is to offer them the opportunity to take up the intervention after the end of the trial, in what is called a waitlist control. Another way to address this ethical concern is to use a stepped wedge design where trial participants are randomly assigned to start the intervention at staggered time points. Despite this ethical concern, the randomization in an RCT can be a fair way to determine who takes part in an oversubscribed intervention. Any individuals who would not have been able to participate anyway can be recruited as a control group. These types of designs also address another common concern in RCTs, attrition. This is when participants drop out of the trial, posing challenges to its integrity. Making the offer to the control group attractive is one way to minimize attrition, with these types of RCT designs doing just that. These different RCT designs address the most common challenges, attrition, contamination, spillover, and ethical concerns. Combining these designs is also possible to generate a robust and fair evaluation design. RCTs are therefore useful when you have relatively large sample sizes, you have clear, measurable outcomes, you have time to carefully plan the RCT before the beginning of the intervention. If you want to find out more about RCT designs and other evaluation methods, visit TESO's website.